Uh, yep, so the Japanese have been conducting uh, 25 kilometre firing uh, over the past couple of days. Uh, the importance of that serial is because the Japanese, the training areas in Japan are not large enough to cover such distances. Uh, so it's the first time we've had Japanese artillery in Australia. Um, so it's a significant milestone in training with the uh, Japanese. And uh, the ability to shoot 25 kilometres is uh, growing more and more important on the modern battlefield. Uh, yeah, so working alongside the Japanese has been a very interesting experience. Uh, they have a few minor differences in the way they do things. But uh, more and more well, we're seeing that the way we conduct ourselves and the way they conduct ourselves, there's a lot of similarities as well. And uh, we've got a lot of good training value out of uh, using them. And uh, they're learning a lot from us as well. They're, uh, they're very methodical in the way they go about uh, conducting their serials. Um, and I think they'll learn a lot from our ability to shoot and move uh, at quite high speeds. Yes, we're, we're allowed to shoot and the mission will be passed to the gun line yeah. and the gun line will shoot and we will receive a... Uh, ...is where the bomb landed. Beautiful. The 25 kilometer and above shoot is uh, rarely conducted in Japan due to their small confined training areas and the opportunity to be able to conduct that in Australia's large training areas has been very uh, beneficial for the JGSDF. They were very excited to conduct the shoot and uh, were very appreciative to be able to do it in Australia. The opportunity to conduct firing in Australia, it's been uh, very valuable due to the, the different kinds of data they can um, collate from different training environment. It's been a valuable experience working alongside the Australians, mainly due to their uh, discipline, the different kinds of uh, drills conducted um, for their firing. Um, in, in Australia and being able to observe that from the JGSDF and gathering how things are conducted differently, uh, it's been very uh, valuable for them. As for the things that each soldier has been able to learn from each other, the main thing uh, has been the drills as mentioned earlier, but also the uh, safety procedures that the Australian soldiers uh, prioritise. That is, uh, there's been a lot to learn from that from the side of the JGSDF. Um, as for the environmental differences uh, between Japan and Australia's training areas, um, as mentioned before, the the sheer size of the Australian uh, training area um, enables them to conduct firing above certain ranges and the ability for JGSDF to conduct that in a separate environment such as this um, has been very uh, for well, a fortunate experience for them. The JGSDF are very thankful for giving them this opportunity to train alongside um, the Australian troops and uh, setting up an environment such as this where it's um, easy, easier for them to conduct training.